For those of you in a hurry, select multiple layers, put them into a group, change the blending mode of that group to normal, and then any adjustment layers inside of that group will only affect layers inside that group and not those outside. For a more in-depth look at this, please stick around for the rest of the video. I have here a background layer and three palm trees, each on their own separate layers. Now I'm thinking I would like to brighten up the trees, but not the background. So from the bottom of the layers panel, let's start by adding a curves adjustment layer. Here in the properties panel, let's crank that up a little. And if I turn this off and on, that's the change just there. Now I like the change to the trees, but not the background. Quick little side tip for you here, guys. I have this curves adjustment layer selected. If I go up to layer, create clipping mask, we see some indentation just here in this arrow, which means that this adjustment layer has exclusively attached itself to the layer below it just here. If I turn off and on this curves adjustment layer, it's only affecting the layer directly below it. Now this is a fantastic trick to know, and one that I use all the time, but it doesn't really help us out here because I don't want to have to create this setup for all three palm trees. So let's select that adjustment layer, layer, release clipping mask. So we're now back where we were a few moments ago. So the plan is to have this adjustment layer affect just these three tree layers just here. So what we need to do is start by grouping all of those elements together. My first layer is selected. Holding down the shift key, I'll click on the last layer. All four are selected. At the bottom of the layers panel, let's click on the group button just here. So let's twirl this open. Visually, everything is the same just out here. All we've done is rearrange things slightly here in the layers panel. Clicking on the group to make sure it's targeted. Let's change the blending mode for the group itself from the default of pass through to normal and check this out. This adjustment layer is now only affecting the layers within the group and not those outside of the group. So this is incredibly powerful. Let me hammer the point home just here. Let's add a hue saturation adjustment layer. If I drag the saturation slider around, again, I'm only changing the trees and not the background. So the trick there, guys, group your elements together, select the group and change its blending mode to normal. And then any adjustment layers that you add to the group will only affect the layers within the group and not those outside of it. I might wrap things up just there. I hope that helps. Catch you later.